All right, guys, welcome to video number 24 on PHP and MySQL. And now that we're getting the hang of programming, I want to talk about logical operators because logical operators are going to help us create more specific conditions. So say we have multiple variables. Say we have, let's go ahead and give A equals 1, variable B will equal 2, C equals 3, D will equal Okay, let's go ahead and create our if statement. Give the parentheses and then the curly braces what we want to execute. Okay, so logical operators are good to use when you're dealing with multiple variables. So say we want to test all four of these variables right here. Well, we need to create parentheses within parentheses. So I'm going to create parentheses right here and I'm going to write, we'll test that variable A is less than variable B, which is all true so far. And then I'm going to create another group of parentheses in here. I'm going to bump this over. And it's kind of be confusing. I'll go a little bit slower on this video. And in this parentheses, we want to test a condition if group or variable C is less than variable D. Well, how do we let PHP know that we want to we want to test both of these together. We need to add the logical operator of AND. You can type AND just like that, but the more common way to do it is double ampersand, which is shift and 7 7 on your keyboard. I'm sure all you guys just looked at it right now. Okay, so in here we're testing that if A is less than B and C is less than D, execute this. And we'll echo this should work. We'll close it out. I'm going to save it. I'm going to reload it in our browser. And this should work because both conditions are correct. A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, and D is 4. So say we change A to 5. The variable A has, now has a value of 5. Did I save it? Nope. This did not work because it says A here is less than B. And A is clearly not less than B because A is 5 and B is 2. Okay, so say if we only want to test one of these conditions. So this stands for AND, like we just showed. But if we type in OR, or a more commonly way to do it is two vertical lines, which I believe is right above your enter sign on your keyboard. Everybody look up at it. It's, it's a backslash without pushing shift. So hit shift and two vertical lines. Now this is the logical operator of OR, and that means only one of these conditions has to be correct for this to execute. And since one of them is correct, C is less than D, now this will execute. So let's go ahead and reload it, and there it is. This should work. But again, if we go back to AND, it's not going to work. So maybe make a note of this that, I don't know, give it some comments up here. This stands for AND. So both conditions have to comply. And the double vertical stands for OR. So only one of them has to check out for it to execute. So what else can I show in this video? This should work. OK, so I'll go ahead and create A back to 1. And I'll command save it. So now this should work. Or if we go to, we'll change that A to 5. And we'll leave this at AND. We'll give it an else statement saying, Echo, you need to work on your math. And I'm going to save it and I'm going to reload it. You need to work on our math because we have it set that A is 5 and it's clearly not less than B. So this is not true and it just shot us its default statement which let us know that it's, def that it's false. And uh, yeah, but if we change this to OR again, the C is still less than D, so we're going to get this should work, should turn back up. This should work. Okay, so you guys have a solid understanding of what logical operators are. It's AND or OR when we're trying to compare multiple variables in a condition. So if you guys have any questions, let me know, and I'll be sure to get back to you. And good luck, and I'll see you in the next video.